So Hyundai wasn't always known for being a good looking car and all their cars in general were just always quite boring, but they're taking a much different approach to their newer cars, especially like this Tucson we have here today. And I'm really happy with how the cars are starting to turn out. So a lot of people would know them for being boring cars. You know, these Korean cars really didn't have any soul to them. They all looked kind of boring, not really fun at all, but let's take a look at the car and check it out in this video. My name is Nikolai. I like to film and build cool cars. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you stay up to date. My goal is to teach you the ins and outs of cars and have a lot of fun throughout the process. Let's jump into this video. We'll start off with just how it looks. So I think the front end of this car looks very phenomenal. Um, just the headlights, they look like they actually were implemented into the front grille. It's so unique, like what car actually has headlights like this, especially in a Hyundai for this price range, it's pretty cool. Now also with like the way they have the aggressive body lines here with the front bumper, it's kind of, I almost want to say revolutionary, right? Because it's a Hyundai, right? We're not expecting anything like this. Like the old Tucson's used to be so boring, but now let's go ahead and take a look at the silhouette. It has such aggressive body lines. Like we have such a sharp edge right here, cutting in and then almost making like this V shape with it. I think it looks super good. And you know, a lot of people would agree, disagree. Do they think these look good? I think on an SUV, having this plastic cladding here does look good. Maybe on a sedan like the new Subaru WRX, I don't think it looks necessarily the best, but I think on an SUV, it almost gives it a more rugged appearance, which I think this car definitely has. And something to note that's really cool is you see this almost like V shape here. It's actually followed into the wheels as well. So they have kind of these V designs into them. Looks super good and I'm a huge fan of them. I think for a car like this, it definitely does look good. And also something to point out, this car is an interesting color. So it's called Amazon Gray. It is almost green if, if you have it like in the right lighting and like a nice hue to it. Looks super good and back at it with like these really nice designs. So I used to not be a fan of Chrome, but I think the way they're doing it now with these Hyundais is actually really cool. It almost makes the car look better by having it. I think it's a nice accent, a nice touch. So it's like this satin Chrome here. I think it's just a nice bit, right? It's not like this even like having this thin strip. It actually kind of tapers out and becomes a little bit thicker and then also has like these nice lines in it. And I think it does look really good and it just kind of adds a little nice touch to the car. And something to note, I'm just noticing these newer cars, like they just have really big gas caps. Like it's kind of weird, but Maybe let me know in the comments, why are all these new cars having bigger gas caps? I'm really not sure, but let's look at the rear of this car. So it's really cool. One, one thing I want to point out immediately is it just kind of shocks me that, or not shocks me, but I just, it definitely stands out is seeing how the Hyundai logo is like implemented into the rear win window. I've never actually seen that done before. Um, let me know if, in the comments if there's like another car out there that actually does this, but I've never seen it where it's implemented into the window like that, almost like a seamless design. I think it looks super cool and it almost kind of gives it a higher quality appearance. And then looking at the taillights, this is super unique. It's got these really aggressive lines right here, like these almost like V-shaped, like these cut-ins. Looks super good. And then we got more of that black plastic there. Maybe it might be too much, but I think it flows well enough with the car. And then, you know, just a really good looking car. But what we're gonna actually do now is we're gonna bring in Gopal. He knows about this car. It's actually his mom's car. Um, and we're gonna bring him in. He knows about the car. He can tell you guys a lot more about it than I can. So let's bring him in as a guest. So it's good to have you, Gopal. Thanks for having me on the channel. So for sure, yeah. So tell us more in detail about what you know about this car. Okay, so this is the SEL trim of the Tucson. So there's the base model, then there's the SEL. Then above that is the XRT, which is basically the exact same thing as this, except with a whole bunch more of appearance mods and all that. And up top, like the very highest spec model you can get of the Hyundai Tucson is the limited so it's basically sort of the calligraphy version of the Hyundai Tucson so you can't get a calligraphy in the Tucson it's the limited and that's all you get if you want a calligraphy version or the nameplate calligraphy you'll have to step up to the bigger Santa Fe so this trim is the SEO this is a little bit above the base model but this is below the XRT and this does not come with all the appearance mods like a bigger front splitter that does absolutely nothing except look cool and then you also do not get these designed plastic cladding around the wheels you also do not get rocker panels down here which help you step up because like are you ever going to use a Tucson to go off road like you would just buy a base model Jeep Wrangler or base model Ford Bronco for that but you do actually get the limited style wheels on this car which is actually kind of interesting because it makes the car feel more premium than it actually is which is honestly kind of nice in my opinion it's still it's cool that Hyundai is going towards that luxury brand right I mean yeah but on the flip side they have N which is like their Veloster or the they, no not just the Veloster it's the, the Kona N they Kona have the Kona N. N with the dual clutch transmission don't too. they make an N version of this car as well no not no. at least not yet okay I mean I don't know if they will but it would be pretty cool to see an N version of this and I have a feeling that we're definitely going to see more end cars come out hopefully um i would even predict that every car is going to have an end version um, or an end line which i think would be cool so now for the interior on this car let's start with the trunk it actually holds a pretty decent amount of space considering that the car really itself isn't that big like i've got some of my camera gear back here so it really fits my backpack my tripod everything i need but that's different for per person so 
for my use, I think this car would be pretty good, but let's go and check out the back seat. So it actually, it's, it's nice because it fits what you need. Although these SUVs are interesting because they're almost like lifted sedans in terms of like their actual storage on the inside. It's got enough, it's, you know, if you've got four people you need to drive around, it's definitely plenty. And then for the front of the car, I love the, just the quality on this car because it seems like you've got just so much like little details that we didn't used to have so like the stock here has like this nice design on it and it's like i personally like gloss black i know gopal said he didn't like it i think it looks good um it depends you know per person right but you've got silver trim here along the car silver door handles along with like leather everywhere i mean it really does feel pretty premium and you know these cars didn't typically feel like this you know hyundai's in general and you've also have like this cloth like this really soft touch cloth up here interesting that we have that design going on with the car i think it does look good and then also the steering wheel what's really interesting is when you hold it your thumbs kind of just naturally fall into place here and it actually is a very nice feeling steering wheel and i do like it a lot and then also the digital display it's literally just almost like an ipad screen right there it's actually really interesting i think it's cool um i still do like my older analog type of displays but you know the new ones are pretty cool they can you know show a lot of stuff on there your shifter here has like a nice leather wrapping on it so Overall, a very premium interior, even though this one's got cloth interior, I think it definitely looks good, feels good. And the main thing is nothing really feels like it rattles around here. Like, you know, some new Mercedes cars can just like feel like they're rattling or just not really built like they're just up to the highest quality. Um, it's no Porsche, but it's definitely a really good interior and Hyundai is 100% in the right direction. So let's go and take the car for a drive and see how it feels. Oh, it has lane assist. Wait, will it hold me? The lane assist actually can hold me through a corner? Nope, not for too long. Okay, that's very interesting. I noticed the car has pretty good visibility here. Um, you know, obviously it's an SUV, it's gonna have good visibility, but what I like about this car is it drives and feels like a sedan, but it's actually an SUV, of course. So, you know, I don't like SUVs that feel like they're too floaty or they feel like they're kind of hard to maneuver. This car and just driving it here normally, it feels very smooth, but also planted at the same time. Is it a Toyota 86 in terms of cornering? No, but it still is a very smooth ride and I do enjoy it. And we've got a few drive modes here. We've got sport, normal, and smart. Normal and smart have like the same gauge cluster where it's like the white gauges, but then you stick it into sport and you can actually see that they become red and it does this cool effect. I think for the package this car offers, it has a lot that higher end cars have. But at the flip side, it is not, you know, at that $50,000, $60,000 price range. And we'll get on it here and see how the car feels. Going uphill. It's, I mean, it's plenty of power to actually, you know, get around town, which you don't need the car like this to throw you back in your seat. You know, it's going to be plenty. Whoa, sport mode actually holds the gear, which that is awesome. I was not expecting an SUV like this to hold the gear like that. That is quite interesting. We'll put it back into normal mode. It'll drop the gear. What I like is this car doesn't have a CVT. Like a lot of cars nowadays have CVTs and I'm just not a fan of them. I like these types of transmissions that are, you know, actual gears. That's always just the best way to do it in my opinion. Leading vehicle is driving away. That's a really interesting feature that the car has. This is like a good balance of SUV to sedan because like, for example, the Toyota RAV4, you can feel that that car is an SUV, but with this car, it feels a lot like a sedan, which I really like. The number one thing I like about this car in terms of driving it and interior quality is that you'd be surprised a lot of new cars Tesla, for example, don't have the best quality and they rattle and they're just crazy. And it's just kind of like unenjoyable, right? If you hear a bunch of rattles, you hear a bunch of sounds, it's just not fun. Like you want to be able to drive the car and not have rattles and just want the car to feel sturdy and like it's actually meant to be, you know, a new car because a lot of new cars are not as good as you would expect. Like you think it's a new car, it should feel really good and sturdy, but a lot of cars are not like that. But I like that this car for the price range especially for being a Hyundai, they weren't always like that. Like Hyundai's used to feel a little bit plasticky on the inside, just wasn't the nicest, but now this car feels refined. It feels like it's got good quality leather, good quality plastics in here. So nothing rattles, nothing creaks. It's just a really nice overall interior. I do enjoy this car and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. But other than that, if you enjoyed the video and want to see many more just like it, please do make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one.